hello, thanks for joining me. We're going to do one more detail. We're going to do uh, a detail that's uh, going to be in this wall. What we're going to be doing is we're going to take this wall, we're going to change it to a CMU wall, and actually put in some CMU blocks and show you how that works. And we're going to do one more thing that's uh, going to be part of the, the three items that are part of the component details, or the details, uh, annotation details are going to be part of this project. And something you'll need to know for your test is that uh, those three elements are uh, detail components that we put in, repeating details, and legend details. Right now we're going to try, we're going to get to, uh, when we put in cinder blocks as part of this detail, and it's going to be um, put in in a very similar manner that we put in those section blocks for the dimensional lumber in the previous examples. Uh, we're also going to be uh, uh, doing a repeating detail of the cinder blocks. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, again, the first thing you need to do is do that detail callout. So if you go to view, go to callout, we're going to do that rectangle, pull that down, and do it in a very similar manner that we did before. And we're going to make this a little bit taller than we did, so we're going to take a little pull button and uh, pull that up. And then let's double click on that and go to that detail. I think I'm going to do with this wall, I don't believe it's a CMU wall yet, so let's go ahead and change that. It's a basic wall exterior uh, stucco type finish. So let's go ahead and do uh, CMU on metal stud, perhaps. Yes, let's do that. Now with uh, the resolution that we have here, it doesn't really show. So if you go to Fine, this is going to be the area where we're going to have our CMU. It's going to be CMU faced on the outside. So let's change our scale on this. Let's uh, make a very similar scale that we did with the other detail. Make that one inch is equal to one foot and go to Apply. Now our cross hatching and our other details are nice and fine. And uh, let's go ahead and put in those uh, CMU blocks. So this is going to be a, another annotation feature a component. And let's go ahead and uh, load those components. So just like we did before, when, uh, not, in, uh, not necessarily the, the dimensional cut lumber. Let's uh, cancel out of that. We know we'll go this far. Let's go ahead and load that family first. So it's under annotations. I'm sorry, it's under detail components. My bad. Detail components under masonry. And let's go, let's find the CMU unit. Clay unit masonry, and that's under concrete unit masonry. And we're just going to go down here and scroll down until we find what we're looking for. Now what we want is a, is a core of that. It's going to be a section, so we're going to be able to see it as it's being cut. Uh, not a side view, not a top view. And that would work too, CMU 3. But let's, uh, for this one, let's do uh, CMU 2, just for the, the demonstration of it. So go to open. And what it does is it gives you a CMU block. Not necessarily the block we're looking for. We're looking for the 8 inch by 8 inch by 16 block. So let's go ahead and scroll down and find that. So 8 by 8 by 16. There it is. And we'll drop it in there. So it's going to go in the very bottom. We're going to put our first course right on top of the concrete slab. Now let's take a look at that block. Well, let's do escape a couple times. Take a look at that. What you'll notice in here, if you're going to increase the detail on this, we'll go to hidden line. But uh, just for the final, let's increase the detail just a bit so we can see some of the detail in there. What we have in here is a mortar joint. It comes with a mortar joint, so that the cycle in the CMU block, including the mortar joint, is 8 inches. So it's a little bit less than 8 inches. I think it's uh, 3 eighths of an inch or 5 eighths of an inch for the mortar joint. And uh, if we were to put more blocks on top of this, we're going to have to include that mortar joint. So that's one block. But if we do this, and let's take our scale and move that back to where it should be, one inch is equal to one foot, and uh, let's go ahead and install uh, some repeating details. We go to component, go to repeating detail component, and right now it's got repeating detail broke by default, but let's go ahead and edit that and create a new one, uh, of course. But we'll go to duplicate. Instead of brick two, we're going to call this CMU as a repeating element, and go to OK. And instead of uh, the detail being brick standard, we need to change that. We're going to go to CMU core section 4 by, not 4 by 8, but 8 by 8. Just scroll down a little bit further. 8 by 8 by 16. And uh, spacing is going to be 8 inches. And go to OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here. I just make it go up. Oh, uh, you know what I did? made it 8 feet. So let's not do that. Let's get rid of that detail. And move that up one more. Let's uh, just change that a little bit. So, yeah. 
annotate, repeating component. We're going to edit that type again. Instead of 8 feet, we're going to make that 8 inches. So here it doesn't remember inches, it remembers feet. And insert that, start here, drag it up, and there you go. It's perfect every time. Okay, thanks for joining me. There are more videos to come.